BioLace technical analysis, fundamental statistics, along with reviewing my current positions and their price target. Starting off with the price action. Firstly, what the heck is this line right here? This is the price target based on this cup and handle formation. Okay, this is how you draw a price target for a cup and handle. This is the handle right here. This is the cup. This is the price target. We're going all the way up to all time highs or 52 week highs, I believe at least. Okay, one dollar fifty eight cents. We're currently almost at one dollar right now because we have just been bleeding these last couple of days. Uh, we did go up after hours overall on the day. We were green actually um, yesterday. But guys, this is an amazing buying opportunity right now. Let me tell you why. Let's look at the daily chart. Okay, we just had an extremely, extremely bullish indicator, in my opinion. Okay, two bullish indicators as far as the moving averages go. Okay, firstly, I want you to look at the only 12th of January. I want you to look at the 200 day exponential moving average, and I want you to look at the 15 day moving average. This is the most important golden cross, in my opinion. The 200 day EMA crosses below the 15 day moving average, the orange line. The red line crosses below the orange line. That's the first bullish golden cross. That's the most important one. And the second most important, in my opinion, right? This is all my opinion. Other people have different technical analysis indicators that they use. This is what I use. We also have the 55 day moving average. This teal line right here, it crosses above the 200 day EMA. That is the second most important golden cross in my opinion. And the gap is only widening. All right, guys, guys, we are primed for a breakout in my opinion. Any day now, guys, any day. Let's look at the RSI relative strength indicator. This index, this is an extremely important tool. We are looking at 40. We are on the oversold side, typically with our stocks that we deal with. Okay. This was at 20 cents. It's ran all the way up and it's still on the oversold side. That just gives you a little bit of a peek through the curtain as to why this is so oversold. That's another reason why I'm thinking this is, and that's not even the main reason. The main reason is actually about the company, but the technicals are extremely bullish on this company. We are currently looking for a breakout off of this handle, this descending level of resistance. We do have several levels, these green levels. Don't be fooled. They are actually going to be resistance levels because we did confirm the breakdown below. Right now, we are kind of, kind of hanging right on this resistance level, looking for a breakout. We're seeing a lot of resistance from all these moving averages on the two hourly chart. Let's take a look, let's take a look at the Bollinger Band, see if we can get some indication for price action probabilities in the near term. We're not really seeing any. I mean, we're seeing a little bit of hooking in. That could be, that could mean a little bit of decreased volatility. Let's look on the daily Bollinger Bands. Um, Okay, don't be fooled. All right, this small one right here, this is not the Bollinger Band. Okay, I know it's a little confusing. This is the 200-day EMA. These two, these one, this and this, those are going to be the outside Bollinger Bands. Um, so you are seeing a little bit of a decreased distance. That that could mean some decreased volatility. There's not really any clear indication of where price action is going to go based on the Bollinger Bands this time around. But guys, in my opinion, this is an amazing entry point right now. If we dip at all, this is not going below $1, mark my words, unless the market crashes completely or the C gets shot in the head. Those are the only things, and those are not realistic options in my opinion, are <laughs> not realistic at all. Those are the only ways that this will dip below $1. If you see this at $1, set your buy limit at $1 and one cent, because there's going to be like hundreds of thousands of shares uh, loaded up on the $1 buy limit uh, range, because I know I check the level two data on Weeble every day for this stock. Okay, so also, if you are if you don't actually believe me that I'm actually bullish on this company, okay, here's your proof, here's my account. Here's my main account with Weeble. Okay, two thousand dollars in my in, in my as my total cost. This is my thirteen percent of my portfolio. It would be higher, but obviously I'm down one hundred and seventy bucks, seven percent. Okay, guys, I'm not scared. I'm not selling. I don't care if this goes down to one dollar, guys. I don't care. Also, guys, I didn't even talk about this. Okay, we have this ascending level of support that has been validated going back as far as the twenty third in December. We also validated it on the fourth in January and the eighth in January. This is going to be an extremely strong level of support. There's no way, guys. I'm telling you right now, there is no way that you are going. That, that we're going to break this ascending level or that we're going to break one dollar in my mind there's no way i mean i can be wrong and i can i can definitely be wrong anytime but guys we're not <laughs> we're not going below in my opinion all right i'm too bullish on this company and guys you know i'm holding i don't care if i go down another five percent another ten percent all right whatever it is to a dollar uh i will hold I, and I, if I had buying power, guys, look at my overnight buying power. I have zero. <laughs> no, I have nothing left to buy. All my dry powder is based. This is this stock is essential to my dry powder. But guys, I'm holding. I don't care if we go down more, guys. That's how bullish I am on this company. All right, let's look at some fundamental statistics. Taking a look at the insider ownership. One of the many reasons why I love this company. All right, why this company is doing great things in the future, in my opinion. Why they will? They are owning thirteen, almost fourteen percent of the shares outstanding. All right, and this is usually you see a gap between this. This and and this because this is a uh, this is the insider ownership of the float. This is insider ownership of the actual shares outstanding. This is a bullish sign. This is an extremely high 
uh, percentage in my opinion. I mean, that's not really an opinion. That's pretty much a fact if you ask me. Okay, so institutional ownership, 7%, fairly high. Not really much to say here, guys. Let's look at this, okay? This is actually my post that I actually just typed up right before this, okay? This is this will be linked. I will be linking this very soon after posting the video. Um, this is this is all you need to know, in my opinion, honestly. This is, okay, this is from me, so you know it's, you know, it's at least more reliable than like some random person on Reddit, right? You guys know my account. You know my track record. Go watch my videos if you think I'm an idiot and you will see all of my price targets, five out of seven of my month out price targets being hit like the week after it. Okay. So yeah, I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm not saying I'm Kathy Wood, right? I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I have a proven track record. All right. But I can be wrong and I will be wrong. I will be wrong. So I, I, there's a high chance that one of these price targets get, is wrong. Okay. Pro, you know, I don't think so, but it can happen. All right. But this is all you essentially need to know. Okay. Go read this. If you're considering, uh, investing in this company, this literally is a really easy read. It's not long. This is going to be how, it, this is going to be how long it is. Okay. It, it gives you all the benefits of their technology, what they actually do. Um, it gives you why I'm, why I'm bullish on it. It gives you, it gives you everything. Okay. All right. Current positions. BioLace. More force price target is a dollar and fifty cents. You may notice something here, guys. Let's take a look. Why is my price target one dollar and fifty cents? Okay, this is one of the things, this is one of the reasons why my price targets uh are calculated. Okay, this is one of the ways how they are calculated. Okay, look at the price target. Let's look at the price target. Okay. Above one dollar and fifty cents. Okay. I'm fairly conservative on, on my price targets. It's, okay, except the bull case. Bull case, that's my obviously, you know, by definition, that's my bull case scenario, right? But as far as these and the bear cases. I, I use a lot of, I use like seven to eight to nine different things to calculate this. Okay. It's not scientific. You can't be scientific with long-term price targets, uh, that much. Okay. Like you can't, okay. You can be scientific relatively with this price target, right? If you understand what I'm saying, I know this is complex stuff. Okay. You can be scientific with this, right? You can, you can put exactly where the price is. You can put it at the bottom or the top of the support or resistance, right? It's, you know, there's not much room for error, right? But with these, there's not really a formula for the, you have to create your own formula for these. Okay. Um, but risk is medium end of your bear case, $4 into your bull case, 10 to $20, a nine. Okay. I don't even know how to say this number. Please. If someone knows how to say this, let me know in the comments, but this is, that's how much I think you should be buying. That's how confident I am in this company. Okay. This is an extreme buy in my opinion right now. That's what we're looking at as far as price targets, relevant information in regards to the title has finished now. Uh, feel free to click off if you have more important things to do. Useful information. Do you all want to see the mouse uh, being highlighted in the future or not? I know it's like it probably helps you guys see a little bit when I'm going like 100 miles an hour on the technicals. But I don't know if it's annoying or, or if you guys want it or not, so let me know. Guys, this is really important. If you, I would try to read all the comments, but if you have a serious suggestion, question, considering emailing is much more reliable than commenting, Kate, email me right here, brandonwaltzyout.com. Yeah, I try to read, and this is because I try to read every, and reply to any question in the comments, but it will probably get harder in the future. And YouTube notifications are inconsistent, especially especially with replies and old videos. There is there's a low chance that I'll be notified um, when it comes to that. So if you want if you want to actually get a reply from me, uh, make a new comments or email me. Okay. If you guys know any sites that have updated short interest, uh, that's like more updated than like once a month or twice a month, because I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's what they're allowed to do. I'm pretty sure, um, or insider ownership or anything important, comment them or preferably email them. So I see them for sure. Guys, I know we have a lot of geniuses down there. Uh, give me some knowledge. If you know some sites like other than Fintel.io, Finviz, uh, Reddit, uh, Weeble, you know, you guys know what I usually use Yahoo Finance, right? If you guys got other, other sources, um, and they're really good. Let me know. I might not have heard of them. I probably have, but if they're, if it's something else, something new, I, I maybe I won't. Okay. <laughs> By all right. Guys, you need to, you need to remember this. Okay. This is a good stock. All right. This is why it's a good stock or a good, this is a good quote. This is a good quote because this, look at this. Okay. 7%. If you did not understand this quote, or at least understood this concept, you would have panic sold. Um, you would have panic sold. Okay. And this is, Okay, and I can show you examples of this, but I'm just going to tell you the quote because I don't want to rant about this too long, particularly. The stock market is a device of transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second next time you're thinking about selling a stock. Good websites for research. Um, for me, it's fintel.io, um, Fenviz, Reddit, 
um, YouTube, just, just trusted YouTubers. Um, Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance is the best for financials and just get as much information as you can. Look. Oh yeah. Also the, the, the actual company website, of course. Okay. I can't, I forgot that. That's, you have to actually look at their actual product and what they actually say about their own product and how it looks and the practicality and everything. Um, yeah, we're not going to get too deep into that, how I do my due diligence, but yeah, that's, that's some basics. I will make mistakes, guys. Do not expect perfection from me or anyone else. Me, be careful in the comments. Bitcoin bots have been crazy lately. It's like they've been hearing me and they, they like, they want to strike even harder. I think, I think one of our videos had like, had like three or four Bitcoin bots in a row. It's insane. What do y'all think about the thumbnails? What does auspicious to actually mean? It means conducive to success on popular opinion. That's in my mind. That's what this channel is. I truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. You guys keep blowing me away. Like I saw a comment today where I just stopped and thought about it for a second. I was like, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, it's absolutely incredible to me. Like you guys don't even know how much they mean to me. Like one, one of them I saw today just blew me away completely. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste all the time in the world on that. But guys, I am allowed wasting time in this section. All right. Relevant information in regards to how it's finished. Right. This is where you are at my mercy if you're still watching this. Please not hesitate to call me out on something if I'm missing something. Use several brokers. You should do this because you get free stocks with Weeble. It's in the description. Easy sign up, pre-market and after hours trading. You will receive you will receive access to this. Um, also, you get a, an easy chance to start a Roth IRA. Um, also, comment what stocks you need to cover next. Follow stocks that you own on Reddit and Twitter, especially Reddit. There, uh, especially this guy's. Actually, let's just go ahead and talk about this. Okay, track stocks. This subreddit is absolutely amazing for finding new stocks. That's actually how I got introduced to this stock right here, CTXR. I'm up 37. percent If I had more buying power, I would have put more than 500 dollars in it. But you know, I'm not complaining. I'm up 200 big ones, right? And <laughs> it's offset in some of these other losses, right? These three right here that I've recently taken, it's offset in. Um, uh, pretty much all of that, right? So that's why, okay. And these are long-term plays. All right. <laughs> these are long-term plays. All right. So, um, they're all long guys, by the way, these are all long-term plays, except I think all of them. Yeah. Except this one, this is not a long-term play. Yeah. These are all long-term plays for me. Unless something just shoots up, I might try to swing them every once in a while, but long term plays relatively for all of them, essentially. Okay, guys, just know our business model is not going to change ever. That's just what this means. Okay, also, guys, bye on air to the moon. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in the next one.